So in this one, we're gonna implement React Image Crop to allow us to crop images right in React. We're gonna be doing some of the basics first, and then in the next video, we'll actually advance it a little bit so um, all of it should make sense and it'll be very well self-contained so we can upload it to a server or just download it right away. So the next two videos are, are rather important for this React Image Crop portion. Now we've already implemented the React Drop Zone to actually upload an image, but what I'm about to do is not gonna be a whole lot different whether you're using a Drop Zone or if you're using a file input. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the install is right in the docs for this React Image Crop. It's really simple. We're gonna do npm install React Image Crop dash dash save and I'll run that. Now, uh, I do have this error here that I mentioned that I was gonna fix. So it's really simple. You just put an alt tag in here and put the text itself. So we'll just say preview of uploaded image and that, that, that should bring that error away. Okay, so now that I've got this React image crop, what I need to do is import it like, like always, right? So we've got this import here and then um, all I need to do is come down to the image source. So this portion where we already had that preview because of the drop zone, because of the uploaded drop zone, right? And again, that could be a file input. It doesn't have to be a drop zone for this portion to work. So all I'm gonna do is bring in my React crop and the source is gonna be the same as that uploaded image source or as that previews uploaded image source, right? Fairly straightforward here. Um, and then I have a field, few different parameters that I'm gonna wanna set. So uh, my state, I can set my parameters for my crop right in here. So if I did crop and put it in as a actual dictionary um, or, or a JavaScript object, either way, um, we're gonna go ahead and say aspect equals to one to one. Um, so this is the aspect ratio. So if you wanted a different one, like 16 to nine, you can absolutely change it that way. Um, and also like in the docs, it will show you that you can quite literally put a crop on however you see fit. So th that's all I'm doing here is I'm changing the aspect. I'm making sure that it's a square. That's it, that's one to one. So using that, I can bring that in to my React crop component and literally just say, crop equals to this.state.crop. Of course, I could also just say const crop up here, like we do with a lot of things and do this.state. Uh, but really, I don't need to use it multiple times. I just need to use it this one time. So I'm gonna leave it in as this.state.crop. Okay, so um, now that I've got this component here, um, let's just take a look. I'll go ahead and save it. And now what I'll see is actually an image preview and then the base64 data. That's how it is right now. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of these things uh, because we will do a different kind of preview because we are going to be cropping this image. And React Crop should actually give us a preview of it. Okay, so I save that and refresh in here. Oh, let's make sure my, oh, it's not even running. So let's make sure that your React app is running, of course. So npm, npm run start. Okay, back in here and this should refresh. There we go, click on this and I'm gonna grab, well, maybe not that image actually. So let's go back to my desktop. That image has a white background, so it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so, so what do I see right here? Already, I see a preview of that same image. Uh, but, but I have some errors going on in, inside of that image. So, so I do need to change some stuff, but, but basically I've got my React crop happening. So it already gives me a preview. That's a, that's a really good sign. So I actually didn't need to have that other portion, uh, but it is also giving me an error. That error of course is saying that um, you need to have an on changed uh, method or property on here. Right now it's undefined. So of course, like any other properties or methods that we're adding, um, you wanna make sure that it's on here. So all I'm gonna do is underneath handle, um, handle my on drop method. We'll go ahead and do handle on crop method. And this will take in crop by default. This is all coming from their docs and I'll just do console log crop, but I'll also do this.set 
state, and I'm just gonna pass in crop, and we'll console log the state, this dot state, to see what what it is that this little shortcut does. Okay, so handle on crop, um, or, or rather, this should be probably handle on crop, or rather, handle on crop change. So then we'll just do on change equals to that method. Okay, so we save it. Uh, now we probably won't have any errors with it. And I don't see any errors. Okay, uh, but it's actually not giving me the binding or the stuff that I want to see for the crop itself. So it's not, it's not actually allowing me to crop it. So the reason for this is we actually have to bring in the CSS for this crop, right? So uh, you might notice here in the documentation, it actually says, hey, bring in the CSS file. Uh, so we have to import that. Otherwise, the rest won't work. Okay, so in my tests, I found errors with the CSS file. So I'm actually gonna show you how to bring in that CSS file if you don't already know how to do it. Um, so just bear with me on that. So now that I have the CSS in there, I, and see here, here are those errors, right? So I, uh, now that I have that CSS in there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And now that it's in there, see that I have these crosshairs here and I can change my crop. And quite literally, the crop is in here. It's actually updating as well. So down here, we see that this is the new crop, right? So the actual state of the crop is changing. So all of this is changing based off of this past argument. So, so yeah, I can, I can just say crop is equal to that crop. Uh, but I just wanna make sure that you guys knew that because I did use the same name for the state, which does come from their documentation, but I didn't use the same name for the state as well as uh, the parameter that's being passed. Cool. Um, okay, so this is not really that useful yet. Uh, we still need to make it a little bit more useful uh, in the sense that, you know, well, now that I have this crop here, how do I preview what this crop is or can I download this or upload it to my server or any of those sorts of things? And the answer is yes, we can do all sorts of stuff with this. Um, so there is a couple other methods that I wanna put on. Um, one of them is handle image loaded and that's gonna be the image. And we'll just go ahead and console log the image, oops, okay, and then also on crop complete. Handle on crop complete, okay. And that's equal to the crop and the pixel crop. So we're gonna console log these and just the, well, we console log the image as well. So log these, okay. And we've got the image that's coming through. Now, of course, I need to wrap these into my actual React component. So we've got on change, and we'll just say on image loaded equals to this dot, and we called it handle image loaded. And then on complete equals to this dot handle crop complete. Okay, so so those are the, the core methods that you need to use for this React crop. We grab this here, we bring the image in, and there it is. Now, do keep in mind that I'm uploading a new image and then I can crop it and do all that. Uh, but, but what is actually happening on image loaded this could be an image, an external image. It doesn't have to be an uploaded image. So the SRC could be a the you know the file upload like we just did, or it could be a, just a completely image, and then we could cr a completely external image, and then we can crop it there. So like if you were changing a user's profile picture or cropping it for them, and you uploaded it some other way, you could do that using React Crop. It's just going to take a minute to load everything, and then this on image loaded will be triggered once it is finished. Um, but in my case, it's not actually needing to really load anything. It does still load it, but it doesn't really need to do a whole lot. But it's nice to know that that trigger is actually there. Okay, cool. So now that we have this crop, 
Um, what I still want to do is how do I actually display what's being cropped or, or how do I turn that into its own image? Uh, I don't have that just yet, but I do have the, like I have the original crop, right? So the crop that's being changed. And then I do have the final sizes of that. So where the X value starts, where the Y value starts, and then the width and height. So um, if we go up to the corner here, and take a look at that, we see it's at zero X and one Y, roughly zero, zero. And then this is actually the width of that image. And again, since I have my aspect of one to one, it's always gonna be a square. So regardless of what image I actually upload, it's always gonna be a square. Okay, so in the next video, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna take this data and turn it into an image. That part is definitely a little bit more advanced. So if this part was a little confusing, completely understand, um, because it, 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 it's, it doesn't actually do anything. All it's doing is just highlighting a certain area. And you could 100% use this data. So with the, the image itself and the crop area, you can absolutely upload this data to a server and have that server handle the cropping itself. And the reason we're doing the next video is to make sure that we actually handle all the cropping, the image or the file generation, right in here in the client in React. So then we upload the final version to the server there. So the server doesn't have to do a whole lot. Um, and we're doing a lot more here in React or on the client side. So if you have any questions on what we did here, please let me know. Make sure you subscribe to get everything. I'm gonna be doing so much more React related stuff based off of what you guys think and also the research I'm doing because I'm really, really starting to love React. So make sure you subscribe to get everything and also to see the next video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.